Okay, guys, uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Excuse me. Uh, I wanted to give people a few minutes to, to get our stragglers in here. Uh, my name is Gannon Sungar. I'm one of the co-chairs for the Medical Student Symposium today. Uh, my fellow co-chair, Nick Kaman, is actually got another uh, speaking engagement this morning, so he'll be here in about 45 minutes or so. Um, I am a, an associate program director at the Denver Health Residency and Emergency Medicine. Nick is a past clerkship director for many years. Uh, at The Ohio State University and now has transitioned to uh, managing the fourth year curriculum there. So we've spent a lot of time over the last year since this last iteration of the Medical Student Symposium trying to really craft a, a curriculum for you guys and I'm really excited about what we're going to do today. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about kind of where this uh, Medical Student Symposium has been in the past and where we've made some changes. So historically this has been a lot about trying to figure out if emergency medicine is a right fit for people. Um, based on feedback we've gotten and the fact that you guys all traveled here uh, and spent your money or your institution's money to get here, we're going to assume that you're interested in emergency medicine. So we'll talk a little bit about um, how to succeed through medical school uh, with a goal towards emergency medicine. Um, we'll talk about mentorship, but we're going to spend a lot of today talking about kind of the transition uh, navigating the transition from medical student to resident. Uh, so we'll spend a lot of time talking about um, applications, uh, rotations, interviews, and things like that. So that's kind of what we got on, on tap for you. We're going to arm you with the path. Just to drive this point home, this is the Mirage map. So this is the hotel we're in. We all know that Las Vegas casinos are designed to trap us, right? And so um, our goal here is to get you from the, the volcano up front which is you in medical school, um, to the secret garden of your desired residency choice. Right? And so how we're going to do that is we're going to talk about these things. So we'll start with some mentorship. We'll start with getting an idea of some of the options that are available to you um, if you pursue a career in emergency medicine. And then, like I said, we're really going to dive into the nuts and bolts of how to do this, how to navigate what can be a, uh, complex uh, and fraught path um, and give you the skills you need to make sure that you're going to be successful um, in getting into a residency program that you choose. So uh, here are the objectives that you ignored when you registered for this day. Um, just to put this up here again, um, really focusing on the process of the match. Um, this is the schedule for the day. So this is a lot. We've packed a lot in here. Uh, I'm really excited. We have some really preeminent names in medical education, emergency medicine education here that are going to be speaking with you guys. So this is an awesome opportunity uh, for you guys to be exposed to these folks, to gain some true expertise uh, and understanding. Uh, one of the things that we always do at the Medical Student Symposium is we have lunch together. So in the past, um, we have divided tables by kind of themes or regions with clerkship directors, program directors, residency administrators scattered around in the room. Uh, we will do that again this year. We're also going to have some tables focusing on um, non-traditional applicants uh, and some other areas of the application that can be uh, anxiety provoking. Um, uh, this year we're going to try something new, which is uh, at least once, hopefully twice during lunch, depending on how long the line is. We're going to prompt you guys to get up and move if you like. Uh, this is the goal for you guys to be able to move around and interact with as many people as you can during that day. In the past, people would sit down and eat lunch at one table with kind of two or three or four other people and be stuck there for the hour of lunch. And so we're not doing that to interrupt. Uh, uh, we're not doing that to make you carry a sandwich and spill on yourself. We want to offer the opportunity for people to get up and move, and we want to put that on us so that you don't have to excuse yourself at a table, which can be somewhat difficult at times. Okay. Uh, the last thing is that this is, despite the fact that we're up here on this, uh, this stage and you guys are all, none of you are sitting, well, you're sitting at a front table, but everybody else is hiding in the back, right? This should be an informal day. We're going to spend the next several hours together. Um, so ask questions. Uh, at any point, you guys feel free to raise your hand. We're going to really try to stay on schedule, and ideally we'll have a time for a few questions um, for each session. If not, uh, feel free to come up to Nick or I during a break. Uh, um, feel free to approach the speakers um, uh, after their sessions, and then we'll have dedicated question and answer time at the very end to kind of tie up all those loose ends. Sound good? Any questions or concerns from where we stand right now? 
No? Okay. So uh, our first speaker is uh, Dr. Dara Cass. Um, Dara and I were speaking just the other day about how famous she is. Apparently this is a, a debate on Twitter. It's not a debate in my mind. Um, she clearly is famous. For those of you who um, may be aware, Dara is the founder of Femin uh, FeminiM. She's currently uh, um, working at Columbia University and she's the director of their diversity uh, and equity uh, and inclusion um, program within their Department of Emergency Medicine. And Dara's gonna come talk to you guys a little bit about mentorship.